Good morning, my friend, and welcome to day 24 of the new 3030 Challenge continuation as we're diving into the book now of First John, and it'll be chapter 3 today. Do you know, remember how we talked about there are verses that we <clears throat> dive into that we get a grip on on one day, and then a day after, or maybe two days after that theme comes back again, maybe even jumps off the page more, or maybe it just makes us stop and say, okay, God, there's a theme here. Obviously, this is a message you want to make sure is driven deeper uh, into my heart, into my soul. And that really affirmed me again today as it rose up off the page in chapter three of First John. And the section of the last paragraph, at least starting for verse 11, says, you know, love one another. I actually picked the last verse, which is verse 24. So let's go ahead and dive in. This is my G, right, of getting a grip on the word. This is, this is God's word. This is the verse today for me. Those who obey his commands live in him and he in them. This is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. All right, so that's my G. Here comes my R. Leaning into the Holy Spirit that dwells within me will help me walk out the commands of the Lord. My implementation is I need to call upon the Spirit of the Lord to guide my every step, to speak through me, and to anoint me to do the work of the Lord. My prayer back to God was, Lord Jesus, fill me with your Holy Spirit that it may overflow into my actions, and into the words that come out of my mouth. Guys, if you had one of those experiences that um, you're speaking into somebody, maybe just encouraging them, and words just kind of came, and it was really effortless, I'm, I, I would love to say that happens every day for me. It does not. Um, but the times when you just know that you're you're locked into this relationship, you're locked into encouraging this gentleman, this man, and you just know that God, the Holy Spirit, is just giving you the words to say. There may even be times where a guy just comes up and said, man, when you said this and when you said that, it was so impactful in my life. And you're like, oh man, that, that's you know so good to hear. And you're walking away, and you go, I do not remember saying any of that. Um, it's definitely happened with a few close friends of mine. You know who that who you are. Uh, that the Lord just gives you those words. And I just think if we continue to stay so closely and connected to the vine, right, connected to Jesus through His Word, praying that the Holy Spirit would give us the words would would speak through us, that that's where I want to live out each and every day, is just being led by the Spirit of the Lord. So that's what's rising up for me at this season and the 3030 Challenge. I would love to hear what themes or what God's really speaking to you about and see if there's maybe that connection from one verse um, to another. All right, let's cement this collectively as we uh, come together with a word of prayer, all right? Heavenly Father, Lord, we just bow before you, God, and thank you again, Lord. As we come together and open up your word, Lord, it's just even hearing these pages turn, Lord, that there's just this expectation because it's your living word that you're gonna speak and it's just a verse is gonna jump right off the page. Lord, it's been so humbling and amazing to see you in a personal way speak to each and every one of us. God, continue to guide us. Continue to fill us with your spirit, Lord, that it would just overflow of who we are. You lead us, God. You guide us. And Lord, we promise to give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. And it's in the powerful name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. All right. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you again in the morning.